Pisces, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. All right, Pisces, this is incredible. You are at... Oh, you are at the final push. Think Mario beating Bowser, okay? You are almost there, and then you know what happens? Ultimate abundance, baby. Like, I'm talking all the cards. We got the Ten of Cups, we have the Lovers, we have the Sun, this is relationships, this is soulmate, this is wishes coming to fruition, this is all desires being met. This is incredible, okay? We wanna remind you at this time, more than ever, beautiful soul, that we really want you to have this engraved, okay? Write this down in the comments below. When we write things down, it becomes in our awareness. That's why it's so important we keep a journal. But write this down in the comments right now. My joy leads to abundance. My joy leads to abundance because truly, right now, we feel like there is this final, final stage before all energy opens up, okay? So you may be feeling a little uninspired, or you may be feeling a little bit hesitant, uncertain about and unclear about what comes next, or you may be feeling pretty good about things, but wondering how things are gonna go. Well, things are gonna go phenomenal. And as a matter of fact, whatever you're doing right now is the path to lead you to absolute abundance and all desires being met. Here we have, again, the lover's card. I mean, that's the ultimate soulmate card and 10 of cups. So whether you're in a relationship or not, abundance, passion, it's all coming. All of it is coming. So again, now more this time than ever, um, know that through this transition, your higher self and your connection to yourself is always going to be your, oh, it's, it's always going to be your, your, your place you want to lean into, right? So sometimes when we're feeling excited or we're feeling lost or we're feeling, you know, uncertain, any emotion that we feel that is overly emotional, sometimes we go and we look in our outer world for answers. And this is where spirit says, lean into us, lean into us for answers, right? This is through meditation. This is through creating a sanctuary for yourself, maybe spending some time in nature alone, um, spending time you know, with your pets, your animals, um, but just really being in a quiet space uh, for yourself, especially now more than ever, because things are really evolving here. So we see here again that essentially there's going to be this new opportunity or a new path that's gonna be illuminated for you, okay? So it's gonna be one of those, um, it's gonna be one of those uh, moments of clarity for yourself where you're just gonna know. You're just gonna be like, this is it, this is what I have been waiting for. Thank you, spirit. Thank you all. And it's really going to set the tone and bring you into this energy where you feel like you can trust yourself and you feel like you can believe in yourself. You feel like you can be the leader because it is something that you can relate to. It connects with you. It resonates with you. And when we are resonating with what shows up for us, which we do when we're in the moment and it feels like us, right? Then, then we, un, when we, 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 we let go of any resistance we may have in our lives. Resistance is always negative thinking, right? Right? And so when we let go of resistance, because we're so connected to what we're doing, we just love what's shown up for us. When we let go of that resistance, that's again when all of our true desires come forth. And we can see here that is a long lasting, very connected relationship, you see. So this is the this is the game plan, all right? And as we know, Spirit's always got that plan and Spirit's got that plan for you now. So we want you to really open up your... Um, Oh, you're, we want you to just be open, right? We just want you to be open. We don't want you to feel like you have to logically process or analytically come up with the reasons as to why things are happening or try to figure it out or reflect to your past about, oh, this happens because of this, none of that stuff. We want you to kind of look at your life now from more of a beginner standpoint, right? And we want you to really understand that where you are today is the only thing that matters. Your energy as it is today is, 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 is all that matters because when we go through experiences from the past, we merely go through those experiences to remember more about who we are. And then so when we reflect in the past too much, we almost identify with it too much. Here's where I came from. Here's my parents. Here's my childhood. This is why I'll never amount to anything because this is where I came from. You know, we almost identify with it too much as if it's who we are. And it's so much, you're so much more than that. And the thing is, is that we hold traumas from whatever we feel uh, particularly pain from in the past, we hold that in our energy body. And so when we have a lot of trauma and we have 
have a lot of emotional, specifically emotional trauma in the body, it, um, it blocks our channels. So it blocks our, us to be able to interpret spirit and be able to interpret what we're feeling. And this is why having a consistent meditation practice really helps with that because it opens up the channels because we are clearer. Uh, other things like hydration and foods and, and certain things also help, right? Um, but really limiting that negative thinking and, in, and instead placing your focus and awareness into the reality that you desire to create. And that's what, what lizard spirit is, is to um, welcome in your imagination and let your, let your imagination run wild, baby. Who is your dream soulmate, right? What is your family? What, what's a perfect family for you? What's your dream family, right? What would you guys do on the weekends, you know, on Sunday? You know what I mean? What, what would, how would you spend your time, you know? What's your dream? Um, how would it feel to be in your dream career? Now, we don't, don't, go, don't go as far to put a general or, or put a specifics on it because sometimes when we don't know, well, I don't know what my dream career would be. I don't even know what I'm good at. Okay, forget all that. Just merely the feeling of it. Well, my dream career would feel easy and peaceful and I could work from home or I could not, it's my choice, or I could have my own office, or I could have my own studio, you know, what would it feel like? What would you be into, right? This is a time to, again, create, create from the energy that you're in. So whatever, whatever you have learned from your past, take the good and start to create from today, expand from, from today, from the past, right? And, and that's all it's about right now, beautiful soul, because all oh, you are at the you are there. You are almost there. And we see here that you may be feeling a little bit hesitant. You may be, you may be feeling a little bit, uh, hmm, uh, what's the word? Resistance towards this might be feeling, you know, financials are, are weighing on you or your health is weighing on you or, or just feeling like you, you know, you're, you're not happy with where you are is weighing on you. Your mind is very active, you see. And, 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 and we want you to remember, right, that your perfect um, purpose right? And, and, and perfect, we say loosely, but for you, right? What resonates for you is always going to be that thing that it feels perfect. And when you get there, before we get there, it's hard to know this, but when you get to where you're supposed to be, you're always where you're supposed to be, but when you get to that place where you feel excited and that moment of clarity, right? The things that once you thought mattered don't matter anymore because you've aligned yourself with the feeling of abundance and it's the feeling that we want to connect with. So when you become aligned with this new path in life, that's going to feel so abundant and so, so clear for you, such a yes for you, right? It's that feeling of yes that allows us to not say no anymore. We're just saying yes, because we feel so good. And then having that openness of yes makes us not think about our finances anymore. We don't think about how our health isn't where we want it to be anymore because we feel so energetically good that there's no other thing, to, there's nothing to do, but feel good. And then, cause it's that feeling of knowing, right? So it's the feeling we want you to connect to connecting to your intuition. You are the queen of cups, a Pisces queen, king, whichever you connect with either way, the cups, right? You are the master of the cups. Okay. And this means that you are a divine intuitive. And so your inner knowing and your, uh, energy is, uh, very, 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 it is very, powerful in a sense where you may not even know and realize how powerful you are. Um, generally we don't, right? And so, and the reason why is because we are holding on to traumas in our, in our energy bodies. So we really don't notice our power. And so that's why when you spend more time specifically at this time, uh, meditating and in sanctuary in a safe place for yourself, where you're tuning out of the of the physical and tuning out of your thoughts and, and all those things, uh, you're going to start to remember your power, reaccess your power. And it is going to be this, this sensational feeling of like clicking in, like almost like a puzzle piece clicking in when this happens. Okay. And this is not something you want to uh, force. It will just happen. Um, but we invite you to start meditating more. You got nothing but good things showing up for you, Pisces. Like I'm talking nothing but good things, right? So at the end of the day, angels say it best. There's nothing to worry about, beautiful soul. They are saying to you, you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So loving thoughts, positive 
uh, outcomes, positive affirmations, right? My joy leads me to abundance. We want you to remain in a joyful state. If you're not in a joyful state, it's because you're thinking. We promise you that, right? Thinking connects us to the traumas and our emotions, right? And there's nothing to worry about. So just go into a meditation. Refocus your energy into joy, into creation, into what feels good for you, right? Have a positive affirmation handy, right? Write things down. It becomes aware, right? Do things that you love, but ultimately do know that what's coming, you can't get away from. And it is all ultimate abundance uh, with a side of love. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.